All right, welcome back. Stefan and Scott, we're here playing Spycraft the Great Game. All right, now we're going back and we're not going to ignore this folder anymore. Oh shit. Uh Oh, so Harmonica killed Agent Parker. That's not good. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Right, Jamie. Um, yeah, we did read about it. Right now we're more worried about the fact that one of our teammates is fucking dead, but okay. Uh, so yeah, we can do the sound hack. We saw that earlier, I believe. You say newsflash, and then she can talk to you, and then she can somehow send a burst out of your interaural transmitter that fucks up everyone else but doesn't hurt you. Here's a test. Enjoy this sound in your ear. Sorry. Enjoy this sound in your ear. Freeze. I said freeze. No time for details. Just remember, I programmed a voice link into your PDA. You can reach me whenever you want. Just say news flash, and you'll automatically open the comm channel for me. Perfect. Thank you. Do, do, do. Teleconference with David Holt. I'm guessing about. His pro cat info. Can I help you with something? Yes. And that part of my life is over. Way over. Thank you. The agency sent me to bring in Melnikov. Am I six sent John Blake to take him out? Too bad nobody clued me in. I tracked down Melnikov and then Blake killed him. Shots Procat wouldn't even exist. Of course, you could ask Blake what he thinks, but be warned. He's a freak. Some upper class hipster doing wet work for MI6. In the end, he wasn't cut out for this kind of work. I'm told he still sees Melnikov's ghosts. Scares the pants off him, and it serves him right. Okay. After Paul Print, I moved from operations to intelligence. Sure, the work's boring, but here, backstabbing is only figurative. Now I still get to play in the game, but I no longer have to blindly follow orders. Okay. I am looking at the photo of Parker. He is not the only one out of commission. Lang is MIA. I had to cut his PDA out of the loop in case he's been captured. Hate to say it, Thorne, but it's down to you and a sigh. Great. Da, da, da. Brooks' approval rating is dropping. Uh oh. Okay, we'll check out the news link in a minute. Let's get up to date on our Mission ops manager. For case officer Thorne. So we are gonna go see Max in a minute to check out that mafia photo. Uh, we'll make a call to John Blake at some point about Procat and also Max about Birdsong. Perfect. Lang connection terminated. If I recall, this last message was about him going to meet Harmonica. This is Lang. I compared notes with Parker this morning, and get this. I just received a call from Tom Phillips. The famous harmonica wants to meet with me immediately, as in now. I haven't been able to contact Max Foster for support, but that's fine. I'm bringing this asshole in myself. Okay, so Lang either was also killed by harmonica or captured or something. One assumes he wasn't killed, because otherwise harmonica would have sent a photo of him too, but whatever. Yep, meet with Harmonica was his last assignment. Okay, Parker is dead. Okay, I don't think we've heard this one. Parker here. As you know, Pearson's death remains unresolved. He was found in an alley near the Kurskaya metro station with his kneecaps blown off. Damn. Clearly not a way to go. I never met with Pearson about Rajiv Jalabad, but the conspiracy surrounding the Dabansky assassination is growing exponentially. I just completed a meeting with Dmitry Bulgakov, a contact in the Moscow underground. Now, he insists that Jalabad works for a group of operatives for hire, mercenaries or something. Seems they are all disgruntled ex-spies from agencies around the world. My contact also promised to connect me to Harmonica. I'll keep you posted. That's all. Sounds a little bit like Procat, doesn't it? If I recall, their name means for hire in Russian. This is Parker. All is well in Moscow. 
very well, actually. I may have a meeting with Mr. Harmonica himself. He contacted me this morning. Case Officer Lang has also called, and we're going to compare notes. I'm awaiting a second contact from Harmonica. I'll keep you posted on the outcome. Out. Well, we know the outcome, sadly. And Asai is still alive. Mission oh my god. For case officer Asai. There's a bunch of stuff to say. Asai here. I have Ying Chung Wang in custody at the Moscow station. I told you she'd only get away from me once. I told you where Before she was. Before she to meet this Grendel person she's so infatuated with, our favorite Korean spy couldn't resist shopping. I have to say, she is quite the capitalist. But with the fashion sense of a Bolshevik. Thorn can take it from Zing. there. If we want her to talk... We should use her relationship with Grendel, whether we have him or not. Ah. Maybe I'll finally get that weekend in Fiji. So that apparently was supposed to be our clue on how to proceed in that investigation, which we did on our own, but good. I'm on the Scotty Trail. All I found was a confirmed kill at a coroner's office in Minsk. A mafia informant bragged to local police about a secret weapon Ying made off with in Bensonhurst. I I'm still digging. Incidentally... The M.O. in the Scotty killing matched that used in the Parker and Jeffrey murders. It was Harmonica. Guess he doesn't like competition. The, I hope the same hasn't happened to Lang. A sigh. Out. The M.O.? Being, you mean being shot in the head? Doesn't seem very specific. Have we heard this? This is a I'm in London now, but of course, if I find Ying here, yeah, I am taking I, her. Yeah, I, I know. Okay, so there's a little update on where we all are. Let's see what's new in Newslink. It would be this thing. Boop, doo, doo. Thank you. Bernard! President Brooks' approval rating reached an all-time low today. 74% of people surveyed believe he has not shown sufficient world leadership. And according to the polls, that doesn't sit well with the average American. Okay. That's really neither here nor there, but thank you. All right. Foster. Gene Warhurst told me you're poking into the Russian mafia. You want to talk to Yuri Gromchesky. He's with the SVR. Yuri works with the SVR's Mafia Crimes Unit. He'll help with your investigation of the Russian Mafia's involvement in the peg theft. I sent him a copy of the image you grabbed of the assassin. He's looking into it. Thank you. I'll shoot Yuri's number to your PDA. You can call him from your office. What office? Even though I've already been there. You can have Pearson's old office down the hall. Nothing fancy. Just a place to collect your thoughts, review notes, make calls, and use a computer. <laughs> that was oddly spoken. What's that grinding noise? We asked for a new security system two years ago, but we're still stuck with <laughs> 1970s technology. One minute max, we call it. <laughs> and no reference to me. It covers the room <laughs> in a minute <laughs> flat. Okay. Everybody's in the field. I'm all that's left to mine the store since the budget cuts. It's not usually this deserted, but... Okay. Who's Birdsong? We've had Birdsong investigating the Mafia because we want to keep an eye on their efforts to recruit Russian scientists. They're starting to deal in technical secrets, and we'd like to keep track of what they're selling and to whom. The problem is, he's a scientist, not a spy, and they're on to him. They want him to prove his loyalty. Kill a man. Local mafia thug. They've even tried to give him a gun. He says he can get more information about the president's hit. It's not my call. It's yours. Yeah. Your mission is priority one. But if you want my opinion, we shouldn't do it. Okay. I set a meeting. 
It's not standard operating procedure, but we don't have a choice. Thought you didn't he want to do it. He reluctantly agreed to meet in his apartment. <laughs> the only place he feels safe these days. Well, that's stupid. That's the worst place to meet. Don't meet in his apart apartment. Okay. New message. Case Officer Thorne. What? Ah, uh, Yuri's number. Two three three forty eight nineteen. Uh, let's give him a call. I like Yuri. Kromchevsky here. I like that he answered his phone in English. Hello, Thorn. I'm expecting your call. Yes, I have received photo from Foster. You have called the right man. Come over any time. My office is in Yasenevo. Thank you. Alright, so Yuri's great. Um, but I don't think we're going to go see him now. Let's go see Birdsong. you didn't come here they'll find out I agree we should have met somewhere that was less shit I cannot do you know what I must do to get that information they question my loyalty they want me to kill a young mafioso to prove my loyalty I cannot do this um I honestly don't remember if this choice matters at all. Yeah, let's have him kill him. That's fine. I will do as you ask, even though it means I must kill someone. I hope this hurts your soul as much as it hurts <laughs> mine. I don't think I've ever clicked that. Oh, that's a great I response. I will do what I must to get another meeting with my contact. I will be in touch with Max again soon. Now, I must rest. So please, leave silently. <laughs> okay, I, I think that's okay to do. I really don't remember what the outcomes are there. Okay, well, hopefully we haven't fucked up the game too much yet. Let's let's drop a save right here just so that we know roughly where we fucked up the game. Fucked game, Mabes. All right, let's go see Yuri in Yasinevo. Hello, you must be Thorn of the CIA. You must be my pleasure to guy meet who you. looks like Eric Bogosian of the SVR. My general has had talks with your Mr. Sterling about the Dubansky incident, and he is satisfied that it was, as you say, a former agent acting alone. I am a good soldier, so I must also be satisfied. Sounds like How can not. I be of assistance? Okay, did you find anything in the photo? Yes, they are mafia. Perhaps they are Chechen or Ngoshi, but I'm not sure. But I know who can tell. Господин Кольогин, американский СДС. Загадите, пожалуйста, чтобы его встретить. Hey, it's Oleg Kalyugin. Oh, yeah. Former head of the KGB in real life. Oleg Kalyugin, this is Thorn of the CIA. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Thorn. Oleg, do you happen to know the two men in the background of this photograph? Well, this uh, picture was obviously taken when Fyodor Dobrynsky was uh, assassinated. Yes. The one on the left uh, is called Ilya. Mm. He used to be called the Hammer. Oh, yes. He was the one who was shot in the head by one of his henchmen over a pair of blue jeans. That's right. Over the pair of blue jeans. Can you imagine? Yes. <laughs> well, the other one is Uzbek. Uh, I do not know him by name. Sorry. Thank you. Спасибо за эту встречу. Спасибо тоже. Рад видеться. Надеюсь, мы повстречаемся с Даниэлой скоро. 
Вас спроси, вы меня тоже самодел. Ага. Окей, суббота. До свидания. До свидания. Хорошо. Why does he have Oleg Kalugin in a back room just hanging out waiting to identify pe people? I don't know. But glad he was there and glad he knows all the Mafia by name. It has grown fat on the milk of two cows. Drugs and corruption. Last year, Soviet Republic shipped drugs worth 11.5 billion US dollars Virtually all of which shipped to Western Europe and your states. Most of all of these drugs were shipped through Russia and her own web of organized crime clans. I wish it were. The drug trade has fueled extraordinary growth in organized crime. There are now 5,000 gangs operating across the country controlling 40,000 private enterprises, including eight out of 10 shops, depots, and hotels in Moscow. This corruption has crept even into our government, and that is why I am here. No. To find a new way to combat them. That is an understatement. The Mafia is everywhere these days. They are even behind one of the presidential candidates, Arkady Cherbanov. Really? I have proof. In my heart, I have proof. Well, that's fucking useless. I know Cherbanov has his hands in their pockets. I will get the proof. Okay. You have come to the right man. I will set up meeting. You will see for yourself. I will call you in at this time. <coughs> Thanks. It has been good to meet you, Thor. Okay. Back to the station with us. Uh, we're gonna save again every time we get to this screen. For no reason, just, just cause. Don't ask questions. Do. Case Officer Thorne. Nukes for sale. Oh, this is a great video. So this is what I think it is. Hold on to your breakfast. German TV is running this yes. promo for a news story about a stolen nuclear weapon. I did some poking around in German intelligence and they say that it isn't as bad as it looks. The weapon's not actually functional. Someone removed the pen. The Germans like to think the sellers had enough conscience to hang on to the really dangerous stuff. I think I know better. They're selling it separately. Achtung. Der Kalte Krieg ist vorbei. Die Welt ist vor einer atomaren Apokalypse sicher. Nein, in der nächsten Achtung werde ich Sie über mein neuestes Spielzeug genau informieren. Eine voll funktionsfähige Atombombe. Verpassen Sie es nicht. Morgen in der Oh God, I wish that were real show. Phone is bringing you off your hook, and I'm not a secretary. Come back here and check your messages. How does anyone even know my phone number? It's not even my fucking office. Whatever. Messages. Gromchevsky here, my friend. You wanted to meet Chervinov? I have uh -huh. arranged it. I asked questions about. Meet me alongside the Vilnius Center in one hour. Okay. Note that he said he arranged it, right? So. One might assume that means that he, you know, set up a meeting, called someone, something. I hated that bastard, Chorbanov. Okay. Glad to see you're impartial. Good meeting arranging. Hit guy in head with gun. I told him I forgot our invitation. Ah. Dokinchayo, Dushimoy, and 
Good piece, son. <laughs> Repeatedly. Ah. <laughs> Recognizes us. Judy Grumchevsky. This is Thor. I wanted to show how deeply organized crime permeates Russia. I could think of no better place to start. The U.S.? So you are uh, FBI, CIA? I welcome you to our fine country, Thor. I hope Yuri here hasn't bored you with his talk of mafia conspiracy to defeat Oyeko. Oh, and how is Alexander this evening? A bit under the weather, I imagine. You are mad for power. You don't care if you drag Russia down to get it. You know the only way to win this election is to destroy your opponent's reputation. And destroy their lives. Ah, Mina. Allow me to introduce Torn from the United States, who with Polyakov's task force on organized crime. Uh, Kromchevsky here is showing Torn around. So, the butcher has become a babysitter. <laughs> Terribly ironic. I think Yuri here has just accused me of having Lubinsky killed. How dare you say such a thing? Yeah. He is so like Polyakov. He begins to feel a little pressure, and instantly he sends his militia and his Yankee cronies on the competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In fairness to them, Yuri did kind of just bust in and asshole all over the place. Do do saving here again. No reason. Case officer Thorn. Oh my god, shut the fuck up about my phone. I answered it. I answered it moments ago. I will answer it again now, Max. Origami. And a message. Thorn, it's Birdsong. I gave them what they wanted and gained their confidence, oh, but such a price. Yeah, you killed it. Dude. I've done a terrible thing. I know. I will convince myself that it is for good reason, but oh, I am uncertain. I'm uncertain about many things. Please, await my next contact. Okay. Why did you call me? Did you just call me to say I'm gonna call you later? What was the point of that? Who has the power in Russia? See the nukes folder in your cabinet. Okay. Nukes. Sec politics, nuclear proliferation. All right, news groups. Most people watching this probably too young to know what news groups are. They were a thing on the internets back before the web was big. That's sort of like a, I don't know, sort of a cross between emails and a chat room. It's like a chat room made up of emails, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's see. Okay, he noted the re Gog and Magog thing. I think, I think there's oh, there's also Gog and Magog. Holy shit, there's a lot of. Okay, it's about time we've been pointing missiles at each other for a while. Do do. do. I don't know what what we're talking about. Oh, this guy's in prison. Okay. I am a Germany citizen. Perfect! You already know things are going well when you write, I am a Germany citizen. First hand I've seen my homeland divided by the powers of the streets to work. It has to do so with trust. Dobinsky's assassination was unforeseen and tragic. Yes. Whoops. Too far. I love irony. Here's a man who increased the defense budget by $50 million and now decides to dismantle everything he spent it on. How deep are those pockets, Charles? Okay. Charles in charge. Get it? 
Okay. Deliverance for those who stay the course of the Lord. What the fuck are you talking about? We have been praying and praying for world peace. Oh my God, please. I applaud the Russian people for doing this thing. The Sacred Heart Choir will be singing its heart out this Sunday. That's good. That'll make a difference. My brother said he was in the eighth grade when we had the Cuban Missile Crisis. He says the treaty will get rid of all the bombs forever. But what about the bombs that other countries have? Yeah, your brother's dumb. I don't know what any of you people are talking about. Do to do, do, how much money are we saving? Let's say a few billion dollars. Where's the money gonna go? It goes into the secret wars in Central America. Blah blah blah. Okay. Sorry, Charlie, we watch channel ninety nine. Good. Is that a channel? Conspiracy guy. Truth. I am a famous movie star personality. I'm sure you are. I am in detox and not in a parallel dimension. What? Um, capitalist plot from the Dominion of the Eagle Cortez. Sure. That's the worst spelling of that ever. Moving on. Pilgrimage to El Salvador. Uh, former children who were killed by the Reagan military. Okay. Okay, I don't know what everyone's arguing about. This is why you don't go on politics news groups on Usenet, because people just write things. Anybody know what they're doing about the unemployed spies and covert leaders? No? Da -da -da. Okay. I am an American, red, white, and blue. Well, that's not great. Blue's not a healthy color to be. I'd avoid that. Okay. I live in Vermont. Perfect. Raised a family during the Vietnam War years and lost a son. Brooks has got to do a better job than the last guy. Okay. I don't know. No, it had nothing to do with Vietnam, though, so no. Uh, I don't have the right... To what? Okay, so a bunch of people bullshitted about stuff. So that happened. Oh, this is my favorite thing in the entire game. I'm going to read this one in its entirety. If you were standard... Oh, fuck, I already messed it up. If you were stranded at the bottom of the Grand Canyon with nothing but a cell phone and had to call one person, what would you do? If you were stranded at the bottom of the Grand Canyon with Joe and Joe kept annoying you and ordering pizza and asking you questions, what would you do? If you were stranded at the bottom of the Grand Canyon with nothing but the pickle hammer and the cell phone and Joe and Joe wanted to sleep with you, what would you do? What would you do if there was no such thing as a pickle hammer? What would you do if Joe was you and you were the cell phone and the cell phone was really the Grand Canyon? God damn, those are good questions. Well, on that note, uh, the pickle hammer and I. Thank you for watching Let's Play Spycraft the Great Game. Um, pickle hammer. Yeah. Fana and Scott, cheers. <laughs>